Hello everyone and welcome back to 333 News. Now uh, today we actually have a little bit of good news. And we also have some channel related updates as well. So uh, first of all, we're going to get into what we have for COVID-19 this week. And it's very good news, trust me. So on the point of COVID-19, we are seeing falling case rates throughout the world, even in India. And uh, to show you that, we are doing really well against COVID-19 now, mainly because vaccinations are going up. Well, in terms of total people getting fully vaccinated going up, the vaccination rates are going down, which we're not happy about. But since a lot of people are getting vaccinated, it's helping the case rates to go down. And I will show a graph up here to the right of the United States' daily cases. And for the first time in over a year, we reported less than 20,000 cases in a single day in the United States. That has not happened since March 27, 2020. And just yesterday, we reported only 18,000 cases throughout the United States. That's very good, and that means we are making progress. And that's no doubt to the people getting vaccinated, and uh, yeah, the more people get vaccinated, the quicker we can return back to normal, because that means the virus will end up being eradicated quicker. So that should be an incentive for all of you to get vaccinated out there, especially those who are currently resisting it for reasons unknown, or some reasons that we probably can figure out, like, you know, maybe you're afraid of needles or something, or you're suspicious of the vaccine, or claiming it's not safe, or something like that. I would say, just get the vaccine. It's more worth the risks than it is to just be open to COVID-19 and promote germ warfare, so... I would definitely go ahead and get the vaccine, that way, you can return to doing what you used to do before the pandemic came around. And, trust me, Herd immunity via the vaccines is the only way we can do that. So, yeah, stuff like this is indicating good progress. Now, if we keep that up, that means we could be back to normal completely as early as this July. So, please, keep going with the vaccinations. All right, so uh, that's it for COVID-19 for the day. And uh, now the rest of this episode is going to be me just talking about the future of this channel, so, yeah. As you may know, earlier today, we made our fifth channel anniversary video. It wasn't much. It was kind of just like a little commemoration and announcement video. And uh, Donkey Kong was a little bit, I don't know, funny, I guess? I can't really find the right word for it, but, yeah. The main point is, we've had a rocky five years, so... What that means is, you know, there were some years that were really good for us, some years that were not as good for us, and uh, I would argue the early years were good, the more recent years were not. And uh, I can't really decipher why that is, because uh, I'm pretty sure that our content has improved over the years, even if that improvement rate has slowed recently, because, you know, we're kind of starting to hit limits, but... We kind of want to keep improving our content, that way we can appeal to a bigger audience. And, you know, we'll find more people who like our content. And, uh, I have no idea how people who don't like your content are staying. I don't know why they're doing that, when they have so many better things to do, but... If you don't like what we do, just spare yourself the trouble of watching our videos if you think they're going to be bad. Move on and do something else. And, uh, if you are a fan of our content, please consider subscribing, so that way you'll know whenever we post a new video. And, uh, yeah, because if you are interested in our videos, then why wouldn't you want to watch them? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And another thing is, throughout the feature of the channel, we're going to start doing shorts, which you know are short videos that are one minute or less, and they are in portrait mode. So, uh, yeah, those will be pretty nice to do. They'll definitely take way less time to do, because they're going to be a lot shorter than our usual videos. And, uh, we can definitely spend more time editing those as well. So we can make them really good, really cool, and, uh, we're definitely going to think about doing those a little more. Well, we actually have a... I think we've done a few unintentionally, but we're definitely going to start doing some more. And we're going to make them really funny and interesting, hopefully, so look forward to that. And, uh, one more thing. 
regarding 3 through 3 tunes because we still haven't gotten last month's 3 through 3 tunes out and it's almost the end of this month. So uh, we're going to try to get both songs done by the end of this month. Which, you know, it's going to be a while, so we might end up having to push one into June, and then we're going to have two, three, three tunes songs in June. It's going to be a whole thing, but regardless, we're going to try and make it up to uh, the song that's missing for April, and we're going to see if we can get the counter back up to zero from negative one. And, uh, yeah. So, I definitely apologize that we've strayed away from the schedule a little bit, whether it was because the channel owner was not feeling well on certain days, or because we got lazy and decided not to do things. I think that, you know... Oh, and another reason would be other things that we had to do. During the summer is definitely going to be a time where we'll be able to easily follow towards the schedule, and, uh... Yeah. Hopefully, that means we're going to be uploading more frequently during the summer, and we'll have more time to put into our content during the summer months, so... Hopefully you'll look forward to all of the new plans that we've got, short videos, better content, putting more time and effort where it belongs, and uh, during the summer, some more frequent uploads, because we'll have more time on our hands. So, that's going to do it for this episode of 333 News. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next week.